it might not be a lot of makeup, but when a professional does it, it looks way more polished than what you're going to do at home. And same with hair. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm John from PGP Wedding Films, and welcome to Say Yes to the Best, where we talk to the best wedding pros to give you wedding planning advice. Subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We have new content out all the time to help you with your wedding planning. Today, I'm talking with Jacqueline and Mabry of JM & Co. They are amazing wedding and hair professionals in the Philadelphia area. So thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having us. So just kind of to start off, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about wedding trends this year, but just tell us a little bit about your company. We have been together for four years now. Mabry and I go way back to knowing each other for eight years, um, but we've been working together in the wedding industry for four, and JM & Co. is new as of April 1st. Woo. Yay! <laughs> so we really hopped right into wedding season, starting a new company and everything. We have a, a good amount of hair and makeup artists uh, with our team, and we've been together for, like Jackie said, about four years, so we um, can take a lot of brides on uh, one day, which is great, and it helps that we all really know each other and we get along really well, so it makes the, uh, the morning of really fun. I wanted to have you guys on just to talk a little bit about some trends you're seeing this year. Obviously, we're coming off a super weird year for weddings last year, so what are some things in 2021 that you're seeing that are maybe a little different than in the past with weddings? So I think, um, well, especially coming off this weird year, like you said, people are forced to change seasons. So therefore they're forced to kind of change what they originally wanted. Like if you're getting married in the summer, you kind of want that bronzy look that people want. Um, and now you're getting in the fall, getting married in the fall. So we kind of have to change that up for you. So I would say that trends are kind of staying the same. We're just, you know, tweaking little things, like maybe giving someone with a bronzy summery look more of a smoky eye in the fall. Um, maybe people that were getting married in the fall that are now getting married in the summer, they're doing a much more lighter look. Things like that. More, you know, and then that's for makeup. Yeah, hair is pretty similar. If a lot of people had the idea that they wanted it all down, but now they're getting married in July, so they're like, let's probably uh, think of other options as it could be very hot. So it's a lot about just trends, and I mean, there's always those classic styles that everyone's gonna, you know, really gravitate towards in bridal. But it's definitely more of, you know, if they postpone to a different season, do we want to keep um, the same style? Which we've had that before where, you know, winter brides now are, you know, still going with a spring look because that's, you know, what they think looks best on them, which works as well. So it's really just uh, dependent on the bride and what she feels comfortable with. Right. And then we do have bridesmaids are wearing the dresses that they bought a year ago, maybe in a different season and the colors not so much for that season, but we can really make it work. And, you know, on the day of, we help everyone with what makeup would look best and what hairstyle would look best with that dress to make it all kind of flow together. How, how do you manage it if, say, you know, a bride has kind of a look in mind that they were getting married in the fall, but now they're getting in the spring. How easy is it to kind of, or, or not easy is it, to kind of manage their expectations, make them look appropriate for the season, but also kind of the way that they were hoping to when they originally planned their day? So we just tweak little things. Like for instance, well, when you come in for a trial with us, we offer to do two different versions. So that's really helpful in this case where, you know, people had this idea, then we spend about 90 minutes to two hours with the, the bride and um, we can try two different makeup looks or, you know, show them how we could make it different and more fitting to what they want and looking on trend for the time of the year. Yeah, I think especially for hair as well, as long as everyone's being very open and honest and your artists are going over, if you still want this style, it usually can be achieved. Just, you know, make sure if it's July, it's going to be hot. So if we want it all down, we have to do extra prep work, extra hairspray, you know, stuff like that. So there's a lot of ways to kind of work around it, but brides are um, definitely used to, you know, flying by the seat of their pants this year. Oh, yeah. So a lot of them has come in with, you know, wanting to try all new stuff, which is really fun for us also. So it's been, uh, it's been definitely fun. And our artists are always looking at new trends. They've been practicing all quarantine, doing makeup on each other, on themselves and stuff like that. So they're full of, you know, ideas and things that they want to try. Um, 
you know, and catering to, again, an individual style, making it a custom look for that person. Are there any other trends maybe um, that you're seeing that, that aren't necessarily tied to couples who had to change their date, maybe people who are or were originally gonna get married this year and are now going forward? People are being a little more low key, I feel like. Mm -hmm. this time I definitely around. think, especially with a lot of people having multiple dates, we've had um, a few, you know, same wedding years for people, which has been awesome. We've had people do micro weddings and they're now doing full weddings. So sometimes they'll wanna do a more um, bumped up look and then maybe for their second wedding, they wanna do something a little bit more fun or a little bit more edgy. And so I think people are definitely getting their creative juices flowing because they've been so much yeah. <laughs> back yeah, and so forth. Yeah, them <laughs> multiple times. They're like, oh, let's do this this time. You know, I wanna totally change it up. So they get to try a couple different versions or totally different looks if they want to. Brides or bridesmaids who, They've got no idea what they want to look like, except that they want to look great. Where would you recommend for them to like kind of get ideas for what would work for their, their date? We tell people when we're emailing, you know, and they're prepping to come in for their trial. Um, the most important thing about a trial is we want to know what you look like on a day-to-day -day basis. What kind of makeup are you wearing every day? Because the most important thing is to be comfortable in your skin that day. You don't want to look too different. Some people do. Some people want to look totally different and that's cool. Um, but some people do want to look like the best versions of themselves. So just be open and honest of what you wear every day. If you only wear mascara, that's fine. We can play off of that. Um, we also tell people to go on Pinterest and make pages of what they really love. You know, maybe there's a second category of like the next look they want to try. And if they really don't know what to do, we tell them to make a page of what they absolutely do not like. <laughs> so we know, okay, we can avoid those things. Because sometimes it's hard to, to explain if you're not in the industry and, you know, you don't know certain words to use. We can just look at images and be like, okay, they don't like a heavy smoky liner. So we're going to avoid that and just do a lot of lash, you know, things like that. The more photos, the better. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, you have your salon. You also provide on-site services. How does that really affect, um, you know, what you do as well as a, you know, bridal party's overall experience of the wedding day? I definitely think the fact that we're a team, you can kind of choose if you want to get ready in the hotel or if you want to use our space. And that definitely helps bridal parties, um, I think, have a little bit more direction on the day of. That way they know that we're going to have, it's more of like a little mini party, less of like duties to do as a bridesmaid. So I definitely think having a team and having everyone, you know, know each other and be friends is, you know, really helpful for the atmosphere in the morning to be more of, you know, upbringing and more of a celebration, less of like, oh my gosh, we have to get up early and, you know, sit for four hours. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that we're all, yeah, like maybe we said, we're all friends. So it really, there's a nice vibe that we all have going around and, um, you know, we make it for an easy flow. That's what our jobs are in the morning. We were telling a client yesterday that we set the tone for the whole day. So we try not to start you so early if we can help it. Cause we know it's a long day for everyone. So when we make our timelines, um, we put multiple artists on a job so that you're not having to start at 4 a.m. to get your hair done and stuff like that. What is one thing every bride should know before, you know, they have their hair and makeup done for their wedding day? I definitely think you should know of what kind of feeling you want to have in your dress, whatever vibe you're going for, because that really translates in your hair and makeup. So if you want to be more classic and you want to, you know, have that timeless look, definitely keep that in mind. If you want to be more, you know, flower child, free flowing, have that in mind as well, because once you put on your dress and your jewelry and your veil and everything, it's all going to come together. And you definitely want to make sure that whatever vibe and whatever, um, feeling you want to have is what you're going to see through the mirror on the, in the morning. Yeah. And know yourself. Like, you know, like I said before, we want you to feel like yourself and don't be afraid to tell your hair and makeup artist if you don't like something, or if you want to change a little something here, or if you have an idea, we are used to that. We like more for people to talk to us more than not. Cause you know, we can't read your mind. Um, we can only do so much. So it's like, it's very short time to get to know somebody really well to make them feel comfortable. So let us know, talk to us, be open, show us pictures, everything. What is the biggest misconception people have about what you do and what you provide uh, for a wedding day? 
I would say a big misconception is one of the reasons why you want to hire a hair and makeup vendor is so you don't have to worry about the morning schedule. You don't have to worry about making sure your bridesmaids are in the sea and getting hair all the time, you know, on this right time. If you're going to, you know, use a hair and makeup artist, um, especially a team like ours, we take care of all of that for you. So you really just have to wake up and pretty much everything's taken care of as long as, you know, everybody's in the, in the, hotel room or in the spot, you know, when they're supposed to arrive, everything that is hair and makeup related is taken care of, which is a really, really big relief to a lot of people because there is a lot of, um, you know, bad experiences people have with getting ready in the morning. So having that kind of like weight lifted off of that, you, you know, absolutely you do not have to worry in the morning is definitely a great way to start. And it kind of makes the day just more enjoyable in general. Yeah. I think people go back and forth with us on timing because they think it's like not going to last or we're starting too early, but you know, we've been doing this for a really long time and we want to make the flow as easy as possible. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we tell a bride, we want to start and have three hours for, you know, 12 people. We got that and it's yeah. much we try to think ahead as, as much as we can and we prepare for you know We think about the whole night ahead of these clients um, So we have touch-up kits that we make available We do everyone's hair and makeup and then leave time for touch-ups at the end so that the first person who went at seven isn't You know worried about her makeup lasting three hours longer than everyone else's mm -hmm. so we really plan it out um, It's a science yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How difficult is it to you know craft a look for uh, a bride who needs it to last throughout an entire day. And I'm, I'm thinking of this mostly because my wife and I were talking about a wedding I'm doing. We're doing a portrait session. It's an earlier morning. We're doing an extra portrait session like after the reception. She was like, but her hair and makeup. I'm like, they're all pros. They'll make it work. So everyone that works here is a professional, licensed professional. We all use professional products. Mm -hmm. So this is, you know, some things that a regular consumer can't even buy. Um, so everything lasts. And I knew a lot of people ask us about airbrush and uh, you know, I'm a big believer. Yes, airbrush can last a long time. Um, I prefer to mix, you know, s formulas of traditional makeup based on someone's skin. So, and the needs of the skin. So this way it ensures that it lasts all day long. Um, so everything we have is professional. And, yeah, waterproof. And waterproof, transfer proof, everything. All your hairstylists um, are, you know, used to all the products they use. They know them very well. So as long as, you know, you know your hair and definitely express that to your stylist. If you know your hair doesn't hold that well, let them know that. And I'm sure they have, um, especially our team has lots of options on ways to make sure and assure that it's going to last, you know, whatever long. And if, you know, you're like, I don't think that's going to happen. We always have alternative styles that, okay, if you know, you are still worried, you can do it up and we have alternatives. So it's definitely, um, it's definitely all about communication. Yeah. We're honest. Yeah. When it comes to real, you know, expectations. <laughs> yeah. We're honest. We don't, you know, you don't want anyone to be disappointed. What would you say to someone who's just, you know, a little nervous about they don't get done up like they're going to on their wedding day all the time. What would you say to someone who's just maybe a little bit nervous about having that this happen on their wedding day so i mean tr that's a great time to talk about there is something to talk about during your trial mm -hmm. and you know we do especially if they're nervous with people email us about that all the time like oh my mother-in-law doesn't wear a lot of makeup she's very nervous her last experience like mavery was saying <laughs> was very heavy <laughs> so we do trials for everybody bride mother of the bride mother of the groom whatever you know bridesmaids um and the time sitting with your artists during the trial, express that to them, that you don't wear a lot of makeup. And when someone does it, some people will say, I was just telling someone this last night too, um, it might not be a lot of makeup, but when a professional does it, it looks way more polished than what you're going to do at home. And same with hair. Mm -hmm. Awesome, well, Mabry, Jackie, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having us. We love working with you. <laughs> JM and Co. All of their information are going to be below. So if you are looking for hair and makeup, definitely go check them out. Thank you for watching. Say yes to the best. Again, subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We are here all the time giving you content to help you plan your wedding. Thank you again and happy planning. <laughs>